The invitation assignment is a great assignment to give you some practice with some of the word graphics, pictures, clip arts, and formatting options you learned this week. So Microsoft Word will be used for the assignment and you'll be starting with a blank Microsoft Word document. You will not be using a template for this assignment, so you must start with a blank document. So in step one asks you to select a theme for your party and it could be any kind of party you like that's appropriate for a class classroom assignment. It could be a holiday party, a charity fundraiser, birthday party, a baby or wedding shower, an office party. Your, the theme of the party is your choice and then you're going to be designing your assignment. So when I start something like this I often think I'm not exactly sure I need to get some ideas. So what I'm going to do is go to Google, and you could use Google or Bing or Yahoo, and I'm going to type in party invitation, and then I'm going to click here to search on images, because I don't want to have text, I just want to get a sense of how some party invitations might look. So again, you're not going to copy exactly, but it gives you an idea that maybe they have some pictures or graphics around the edge or a border and and you could click on any of them to get some ideas but using an image search in Google it gives you a sense of what some things are possible in um, in designing your own invitation you can see this one just has like a border of photos or pictures around it so once you have some ideas of what you want it to look like, then we're going to return to Word. And step two asks you to open a blank Word document, which I have open. Step three asks you to create a heading. So I'm not going to create a heading because I want you to use your own creativity. But keep in mind some of the ways that we learned where, that you might want to use uh, to create the heading. You might want to use a uh, fancy font that's a different color or a large size and maybe put a border around it. Maybe you want to remember using the insert word art. You can do whatever you choose, but you do need to have a heading for the invitation. You know, it could say like, you're invited, or it's a party, or come join us or babies on the way. You can make your own heading, whatever you want it to be. And then you're going to save the file as a party invitation with your name at the end. So you're going to click File, Save As, and I'm going to select my class folder, and the file name should be Party Invitation, and it should have your name at the end. This is very helpful to the instructor because when the instructor opens a lot of assignments this way your name is uh, on the file name. And that displays up here. Step 5 asks you to format the invitation with fonts and colors that go well with your party theme. So for example, if you were doing a Valentine's party, you might want to use fonts and colors. Maybe you'd have red hearts and you'd have a font or uh, pictures, things that would go along with that theme. Step 6 asks you to insert two appropriate clip art or pictures. So um, from the insert menu, remember you could do insert, and then you could do clip art and you could search for and select specific clip art if you wanted. If, let's say you were going to have a baby shower. Maybe you'd want to search for a baby and um, insert a baby picture in your invitation. Remember when you insert a picture, if it comes in too big, you can get in the corner with a sizing arrow to change the size or from the Format tab, you could change the size by decreasing it with the height or the width. It'll stay in proportion. Also, as a reminder, with pictures or clip art, any graphics you use, you can um, 
from the Home tab you could center it or write a line. You could also with this on a picture you could twist it a little if you wanted it to be at an angle. And from the Format toolbar you might also want to apply some effects around it, maybe a frame. It's up to you. You can do whatever you think will enhance your invitation. But you, you are required to have at least two clip art or uh, pictures, or one clip art, one picture. You need two things there. Step 7 asks you to include the date, time, location, and any other necessary details about the party. So when you think about a party, you'll want to think about what needs to be there, date, time, location. Maybe you want RSVP, maybe you want to give uh, uh, if, if it's a baby or a wedding shower, you might want to say where they're registered. Uh, you might want to put it's a surprise. You can add any other details. You might find that it's easy uh, to put the, that information in a table to keep it organized and be able to format it. That's strictly up to you. Step 8 is very important. You want to proofread and use the spell check and remember the spell check is on the review tab because you want to make sure that you don't send an invitation with any mistakes. You're going to save the document again by clicking up here on the quick access bar on save and then you can close the document and submit it for the assignment Dropbox.